We're here at the Judean Hills, right outside of Jerusalem. We've all heard about Israel. This is the land where Yeshua, Jesus, first walked. This is the land of the Bible, the promise. And this is where the gospel first came to the believers. Many of us have also heard about Messianic Jews. These are Jews that believe that Yeshua, Jesus, is their Savior and Messiah. Together we're going to learn who these people are, what they believe in, and what it looks like to believe in Yeshua in Israel. This is the story of Messianic Judaism. Like many others in my generation, I came to faith in the late 70s. And I came to faith after hearing the gospel abroad, came to Israel. Israelis showed me why Jesus is the promised Messiah according to the law and the prophets. And two months later, I was saved. We're here as a part of this community of Messianic Jewish people uh, who believe in Yeshua here in Israel. I myself uh, grew up in a totally Jewish family and I ended up studying uh, philosophy at Harvard University. When I was there I began to ask questions about the meaning of life. And as I continued to ask those questions, I reluctantly uh, read the Gospels and found to my joy all those answers in the person of Yeshua and decided to follow him. And after that I had to deal with my personal uh, identity as a Jewish person. I was one of the very few in my age that was privileged here in Israel to be born into a Messianic family. And in the 70s, my father started doing uh, summer camps for kids. We had children from all over the country and all together from first grade to the 12th grades, we're at around 25 kids. So you just understand, have to understand how big the body of, of the Messiah was. It was a very, very small body. When my father came to Israel, there were maybe 30 Jewish believers in the land. And uh, I think we're living in a great times in Israel when uh, I think the body in Israel is approximately 15,000 people or something like that. I remember when I uh, came to believe in Yeshua many years ago, I came to talk to my dad about it, who is an Orthodox Jew. And uh, at first when I just began to talk about Jesus and he thought I was talking about converting to Christianity, he didn't understand what I was talking about. But then I explained to him, wait a minute, that's not the issue. We're talking about the Messiah, the son of David, the promises through Isaiah and explaining it from a Jewish perspective. And then it was completely clear to him. And he actually also prayed to receive the Lord. Belief in the Messiah is not a different religion from the historic faith of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And then I was surprised after that as I continued to uh, read the Gospels that everything was in the context of being Jewish. Every one of the disciples was Jewish. Yeshua himself was Jewish. It all happened inside of Israel. So that was another change for me. Messianic Judaism is the fulfillment of God's promises through Moses and the prophets regarding the Messiah who would come to Israel in order to save them from their sins. He is the only one who could have done it and therefore he is the Jewish Messiah God has spoken about and we have been waiting for and still waiting those of us who do not know him. But when we look to define what is Messianic Judaism, of course in the simplest terms it's just Jewish people 
who believe that Yeshua is the Messiah, Messianic Judaism. Uh, but really, it has, of course, much deeper meanings. It's mostly here a question of identity, that of understanding for a Jewish person to believe in Yeshua, he's not converting to a different religion. He's coming into the promises that were already given to our forefathers. So it's a combination, as it says in the beginning of the book of Romans, that Yeshua is both the Son of God according to the Spirit, but also the Son of David according to the flesh. And it's that place where the two come together that our faith focuses. For me, being a Messianic Jew is not going back to the law, but enjoying the new covenant of the Messiah, the covenant of grace. So I believe that Yeshua is the Jewish Messiah for the Jewish people. I believe that Yeshua, Jesus, is the only way. Most of us who are Jewish believers, particularly here in Israel, we live our lives totally within an Israeli Jewish framework. All of the holidays that we celebrate are uh, within the Jewish holidays, our culture, our food, our calendar, our manner of speaking, our language, we speak Hebrew, the nation that we participate in, whether it's the army, whether it's paying taxes, our entire life experience is within the experience of this nation as Hebrew, Jewish, and Israeli. There was always a present of Jews that believe that Jesus was the Messiah. Throughout the history, we know that there were Jews Yes, they were merged in the, into the church. They, they were not really strong messianic present like we have today. But I think that the present today has to do a lot with the, with the resurrection of the state of Israel. So Israel was reborn, the body was reborn. When we look to present Messianic Judaism to uh, an Israeli Jew. It's important to us not only to present the universal spiritual aspects of Yeshua, but also to present the human historic aspects. But he is also a Jew, the son of David, an Israeli, as we would call him a Sabra, a native born Israeli, that he spoke Hebrew, he lived here. That makes a big difference for Israelis because when they can identify with him on the personal level, then it's much more easier for them to see him on a spiritual level. When I came to faith, the meetings were run in English, led by missionaries who loved Israel and loved us. Uh, the singing was a mixture of few songs in Hebrew and many in English. So the whole liturgy and the whole uh, congregational life was done in English with ideas that were brought to us by these loving missionaries. But the body had to mature. The body had to come out of any influence of the missionaries and their backgrounds and to establish messianic literature, messianic worship, messianic liturgy, schools for kids and children. And in a sense, we can say what I have seen and experienced does not exist anymore. And there is no need for it to exist anymore. I'm very encouraged when I look in the, on the body of, of the Messiah here in Israel. It's very colorful. We don't agree on everything, but we agree on one thing, that Israel needs a Messiah today. That's the priority of every Jewish believers that I met here in this country. If you ask him what's the most important things for you, he'll tell you to bring the gospel to our people. The number of Jewish people who believe in Yeshua in Israel grows every single year, and we're confident that we'll continue to grow. I think that we can see a huge change in the way the Israelis are looking on Messianic Jews. It was not known that you could be a Jew and believe that Yeshua is the Messiah. It was not known that you can be a Jew 
that believes in Yeshua and still claim to be Jew. Every time that the subject came up, they said, you want to be Jew? Stay Jew. You want to believe in Jesus? Convert it into Christianity and leave. Today, because by the grace of God, we have a known presence in the country, I think the young people today in the congregations are not apologizing for being Messianic Jews. They're even proud of being a Messianic Jew. We have Messianic Jews in the army. We have Messianic Jews in the business world. We have Messianic Jews all over. And thank God, wherever they are, they're a good testimony. We're not here just to give declarations. The Jewish people, they don't need to know just that Yeshua is the Messiah. They need to see the Messiah in us.